Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a number of vulnerabilities in OpenSSL. Last week, the OpenSSL team released an update for the popular SSL TLS package that fixes a number of vulnerabilities, including a very serious one. I won't go into all the technical details, but the most serious vulnerability is a complex flaw that has to do with the Digital Signature Algorithm, or DSA. Without going into all the technical details, essentially if you have a vulnerable version of uh, OpenSSL that's generating keys using that DSA algorithm, there's a chance that attackers can send your server or clients a number of handshake requests, and they can actually get the key that you use to encrypt your traffic, which is of course a very, very very big deal. Now the good news is most web servers out there and other products that might use OpenSSL don't tend to expose all the different factors that you need to in order for this vulnerability to expose itself. That said, some servers are vulnerable. By the way, if you want the technical details surrounding this flaw, be sure to check the reference section and the blog post associated with this video. In any case, if you use OpenSSL in your network, and that includes as software on any of your servers or in a number of different products out there that internally use OpenSSL, you're going to want to update those products to get the latest version of OpenSSL, which of course fixes this and many other issues. Now if you're a WatchGuard user, you're probably wondering if we're vulnerable since we do use OpenSSL. Well, there's mostly good news, but a little bit of bad news. So let's start with XTM or Firebox users. Uh, our fireware does actually use a vulnerable version of OpenSSL. However, all our web portals, whether they be management portals or VPN portals, are not really susceptible to this flaw since we don't expose all the factors you need to in order for bad guys to take advantage of it. That said, we do also have a log collector that uses OpenSSL. This is the log collector used by a WSM log server or by Dimension, and it is technically vulnerable to this issue. Now the good news is if your log server is on your internal network, you're probably not allowing the world access to it, so you're probably not very exposed. That said, if you run a log server a dimension on a public network, you do want to actually limit access to the server. We recommend using our firewall to only allow other Firebox or XTM IP addresses to log to that server, and that will mitigate an external attacker from taking advantage of this flaw. For the remaining good news, if you're an XCS appliance or SSL VPN appliance user, you don't have to worry about this issue. You're not susceptible. So in any case, it's a very interesting vulnerability. If you use OpenSSL in your network, you definitely want to update. If you want to know more technical details about this flaw or you want to read our knowledge base article on how we're affected, be sure to check out the reference section of this blog post to see all those details. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.